I think that, you know, film by film, we're kind of proving this myth wrong that men can't identify with a female hero. You know, if a character is well-written and well-directed, then it doesn't matter what skin color a person is or what their gender is. The audience is going to connect with it. No, I don't think that there's enough right now, but I think that movies like Wonder Woman and hopefully Red Sparrow just continue to prove that myth wrong. I think this year has proved that, that everyone, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think there's so many strong female roles this year and they're not the typical, stereotypical female you know, role, I, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think, I think there's, yeah, more and more every year. Over the last few years since I started to make films in English speaking languages for 70, I think Hunger Games came out about that time when I started. And since then we've seen, you know, Atomic Blonde and Mad Max, Wonder Woman. Um, so in one way, you know, I really think that it is a positive time when it's a real hunger to have these kind of female stories come to the surface, but we're definitely not there. I mean, we still sit here and talk about how exciting and how surprising it is to see diversity or women up on screen. So hopefully in a few years, it'll, it'll, we, we won't have to discuss that and still just be able to know that we will find these stories up on the screen. I love that we get to do this as a job and that we get to tell stories and we hold up a mirror to society and and try and showcase that and and i think that's where we sometimes fail it's not that i necessarily want one particular character or more for women i just want more complexity with conversation comes change because you feel more entitled to speak up um i think that one of the biggest problems that I was facing around 2015, I think I'm trying to think when I wrote an essay about pay gap was just because I didn't feel comfortable addressing it really because I didn't want to sound like a brat, I didn't want to sound like a diva, I didn't want to sound like all of these things, all of these words that we have for women but we don't have for men. But now it's an okay thing to talk about. I think they definitely are changing now. There's a movement happening that that has such great forward momentum and it's not going to happen overnight, but but conversations are important. Conversations are being had and, and things, um, are, you know, accountability and things like that are going to change the way we all work with each other. Over the last few months, due to the, you know, some of the horrific subjects that have come to the surface, it's really been like a push forward and uh, a lot of things are happening. But the good thing is that I feel like I've I've really met more women in the industry due to, sadly, I've been very often put as the one girl in the room. Um, uh, a lot of women that have become my friends and I've, right now, I'm, I've met women that I, I started to write with. We discussed jobs to do together or, or stories that we want to tell. So it's a very creative time and that is the, the exciting part of it, I think. With more opportunity is going to come more more equity so if if women and and people of color have more options on movies as many as a white man then they have more freedom to walk away therefore they have a stronger negotiating power so opportunity equals equity you know i think women are way more close your ears way more complex than men <laughs> and yet we you know you guys and de niro and jack I mean, there's just like, it's like the quintessential roles like that that have ever been portrayed have been with guys. And, you know, I think, I think women have always kind of yearned for more of that.